to do and so little time. I heard that somewhere. I can't recall where, but anyways, <laughs> how you doing guys? This is the one and only Captain Boomer, the most medicated, retired podcaster, and one of the oldest probably uh, in the country. Yeah, yeah, I've hung around this long, so I'm hoping to stay around a little bit longer. As long as that dreaded, uh, my agent, uh, my agent, Mr. Orange, he might have other plans. But, uh, until then, yeah, I'm still here. And, uh, <laughs> uh, what is that? Other oh, Bob, I'm telling you, you know how close you are to losing your job? What do you mean I don't even pay you? Oh, that's true, but... Uh, at least you get to hang out here. I mean, what the heck? Keeps you out of, keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys, uh, today is Friday. Today is, uh, I believe, I believe uh, it's March 12th. And, uh, yes, uh, I don't know about you guys, but boy, you know, when, uh, in all my years on this, uh, walking around, jumping around, hollering, and... Uh, Whatever on this planet here, all the years, I have never seen anything like this. This Chauvin thing is just, you know, I mean, the big guy can come down. JC could come down and heal everybody with COVID. And he could walk across the uh, part of the Mississippi River and he could, whatever, you know, the big guy. He would get less exposure than this Chauvin guy. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. You know, and I... Maybe it is just me, but I don't think so. Anyway, we're trying to get this going here. What the hell's going on? Well, that ain't right. Well, come on. I mean, you guys, you know, don't I have enough trouble? Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute. We might have something here. Well, no, we don't. And I just do not get it. Well, the, that, uh, let's see, speaker, let's see, that's on, that's on. Uh, anyway, let's try, let's, <laughs> oh boy, anyway, I, I, I'm working on this, I really am, guys, I'm, I'm trying to get this stuff straightened out, and I don't know why in the hell it ain't, it ain't coming around here. But it usually does. I might just have to go to some Muzak. I mean, Lord knows I don't have enough to talk about to keep people interested. People don't want to listen to this crap anyway, but um, but this isn't helping at all. There we go. We got it. There it is. There's my background music. That is Laurel and Hardy. You betcha. I have Laurel and Hardy on all my shows, just about, and I'll never get sick of it. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but the older we get, the simpler and 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 more mundane things that we have in our life, we hold more we hold more dear and precious now. Yeah, it, 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 and I think that's the way the big guy the big guy made us. You know, we spent most of our life raising our family, raising our kids, 
and chasing the almighty green back and paying our bills and trying to hang in there and put food on the table and keep the cars running or car or whatever the case may be. And now you sit back and you take it easy. You went through all that. And that's, and that's why uh, I, I'll do this well, until the big guy calls me. Because I've always wanted to be in some form of entertainment. And later on, I'm going to be playing my guitar for you guys a little bit. And I'm going to get some stuff out there. And, and Oh, and by the way, uh, this is big news. This is big, big news. I'm telling you. Yes. And it's big news simply because my personal friend, Three Chord Kenny, otherwise, otherwise known as AKA Inbred Ned, he is up. Now, I'm telling you, sit down. He is up for a Grammy. Yes. Can you believe it? He is up for that. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he's up for a Grammy with his um, his number one hit song. Uh, and what, what was it entitled, Bob? Huh? Oh, uh, More Tires Than Teeth. And yes, yeah, you've heard it, right? Yeah. I thought you did. Yes. And, uh, and he's going to be playing that live coming up here, not on this show, but on a show we're going to feature in Brednet, a.k.a. Three Chord Kenny, and he's going to be playing his Grammy Award winning, at least he did win a Grammy for this a couple years back, and... Uh, this is a new rendition, and I'm sure you'll love it. And uh, once again, it is entitled More Tires Than Teeth. Yes, yeah. There you go. More Tires Than Teeth. Okay. Well, we're trying. <laughs> this damn thing. Thank you. All right. As far as this show bin stuff goes, just you know, it's because it is. It's way out of line. It just uh, I, personally, I think they just gotta. I, I think they gotta save the taxpayers and everybody a lot of money, time, and grief, and just draw straws. That's it. They just draw straws uh, as the as the jury selection. You know? Yeah. Anyway, that, and you know what? That would be so, that would be so damn easy, wouldn't it? That was easy. Yes, that's what I thought. It would be easy, and and uh, there you go. And uh, yes, our stimulus checks will be coming out. I guess rather soon. And once again, Captain's Boomers podcast. I come through with some important stuff for Boomers. See those big shot guys, you know, whatever, you know, they, they don't care. No, they don't care about us, Boomers. Hey, we're. Uh, you do realize this, and this is the God's honest truth. Well, no one will argue with me anyway, because no one tries to get hold of me anyway. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to go over the chat here now. Let's see what we got here. Feels lonely in here. Now, speaker people, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, feels lonely in here. Invite Facebook friends. Well, I can do that, but when I go there, it says I can't. Invite friends through email. I can hit that button. Uh, okay, and, uh, okay, let's try that. And we're going to have our list up, don't, don't, uh, oh, see, because that's part of the problem. That's probably part, part of the problem, because I don't have that email, uh, whatever. I can send it, but I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. Uh, I'm still trying to figure things out. I might be quitting this Spreaker thing because I just... Uh... Anyway, hey, why, why, I got a show to do hell, whatever you call it. I can't see it. You can screw around. And... <sighs> anyway, okay, let's go back, shall we? If I can get back now. Come on, let's get back, baby. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. 
Don't tell me. I need to get back here. Get back! Here, yeah, get back to where you once belong. Okay, here we are. We're back. Well, I won't do that again. Uh, I'm having a hard enough time uh, trying to get people to listen to this crap. Then let it go. <laughs> let it go way off the grid here. And uh, anyway, what else we talk about? Oh, yes. Like, like I was saying, uh, Captain Boomer always has important, vital information for the boomers only because that's what I do. That's what this show is all about. It's about us. It's about us uh, boomers. Okay, uh, okay, here it is. <laughs> all right, we have we have uh, the boomer uh, the boomers job list available for you guys. I know other guys are they, they're not going to give you any job listings out there for boomers. No. Oh, that's what I was going to say because believe it or not, guys, we have become now see in our working years. And let's say, let's say between the ages of, well, we could go back, because a lot of us were working at 18. I was, hell, I was working at 14. You know, a lot of us were working. Us kids, whatever jobs, there was no McDonald's back then, none of that crap where you could just walk across the street and, and get a job guaranteed. I got a little job at the corner store, but it was a corner grocery store, and that's all we had back then. And I went in the back and I sorted out bottles and swept the floor and put canned goods on the shelves. And, and fill up the cooler, stuff like that. But that was it. That, that, I mean, you had to, you had to uh, uh, take on uh, jobs like that. There was no franchise McDonald's. I mean, anyway, okay, you ready? Here you go. And this is our part-time job list for you guys. Like I said, you're not gonna find it anywhere else. I promise you. Jesus, uh, God. You let that squirrel in here again, Bob. Whatever. Anyway, here you go. So, this is the top three job list for the boomers. Are you ready, guys? All right. Number one is a clapper repairman. You know those guys. Clap on, clap off. Those guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I admit it. I got. I got one or two around it. Uh, Okay, here you go. This one. Oh, this one I like. Uh, it is uh, a used stairmaster salesman. Yes, a used stairmaster salesman. Yep. What do you think of that, guys? Huh? Yep. And the name of the company is is a stairway to heaven stairmaster company. Well, how the hell did I get off this off track here? Oh my God! I can't even get back to my studio. Oh man. Well, maybe I can. Hang on, hang on. I'm not giving up yet. Damn it! I just got to hit a few more buttons. <laughs> I'm back. Ah, oh, I got to get rid of that damn. No, I'm not back. It comes and it goes. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like sex. Well, not that bad. But Okay, we're back. Anyway, uh, there you go. And last but not least, guys, are you ready? Last but not least is the walk-in tub tester. Yes, yes. Yeah, I thought you liked that one. Yeah, a walk-in tub tester. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to finish it up my uh, job here. And, um, well, we talked about that Shogun guy. That's enough of that shit. Oh, my God. I'm telling you. The world has gone insane, and only me and my boomers uh, are the ones that are... Uh, at times, I think we're the only generation that's holding this whole thing together, for what it's worth. I mean, I, you know, it's just... It's... Uh, oh, you guys want to get your, your... If you got both shots, I got mine, and I'm very, very... Um, uh, and I'm very, very glad I did, and I'm very fortunate. A lot of people with the wife.